Listen up guys, before you venture into the competitive battlegrounds with Umbreon, there are several key factors you must know. Umbreon, a mid-tier Pokemon, exhibits balance, making it an exciting addition to this game. It is equally suitable for the competitive scene as a sturdy defender and as a remarkable solo queue carry. Umbreon is an absolute delight to play, boasting a unique skill set, versatile builds, and incredible potential. So stick around as we dive deep into the world of Umbreon in Pokemon Unite. Welcome back guys to the Pokemon Unite Climbing Guide, your ultimate resource for Pokemon Unite. Today's spotlight is on the enchantingly versatile Umbreon. What makes this Pokemon intriguing is its remarkable flexibility. You can pair it with any of its skills with a build and honestly, it'll make complete sense. Therefore, your strategy should consider not only the skills and the item builds, but also your team composition. So without further ado, let's delve into the skills. Starting off as an Eevee, you've got two basic skills. We've got Swift, a fascinating move that fires off sure hit stars, creating an area of effect around the targeted Pokemon. If you attack a Pokemon where this AoE exists, all of your autos will be boosted. The pivotal thing to note about Umbreon is that boosted auto has incredible self-sustain. They heal you to 12% of your missing HP. Late game, this is potentially 700 to 1000 HP per boosted auto. So that's Swift. Now we have Fake Tears, a move that gives you a shield, inflicts minor damage, but debuffs the enemy defense and special defense. Think of this as a scaled down snarl. As Umbreon, you evolve at level 4 and you replace Swift with either Foul Play or Mean Look. Both are fantastic options, making Umbreon a truly exciting Pokemon. Let's have a look at Mean Look first. Mean Look is perfect for trapping your opponents. You slow down the enemy for 2 seconds and then you create a black hole where they can't escape. Within the black hole, your autos are supercharged, they're boosted, and once you upgrade at level 10, the duration of this black hole extends by half a second. Now initially the black hole lasts for 3 seconds. The enemy cannot move out of this black hole. They can't eject out, they can't dash out, and from my understanding, they can't be full healed or safeguarded out. If you think that's wrong, please comment and I'll pin it, because from my understanding and testing so far, you cannot safeguard out of this mean look black hole. This is going to be such a fun, creative, and strong option in the competitive scene. The other skill is Foul Play. It has a low cooldown, the solo queue player's dream. It allows you to dash towards the enemy, slowing them for 2 seconds and inflicts damage. When you hit an enemy or a piece of farm, you can dash again, causing a significantly amount of boosted damage and that damage is based on the other Pokemon's attack stat. So if you are dashing into enemy carries, this is going to do quite a lot of damage. Now the cool part about Foul Play is when you upgrade this move, each time you dash, the next auto is boosted. Now this is going to make for some amazing combos and self-sustain in the solo queue. When you hit level 6 with Umbreon, you replace Fake Tears with either Wish or Snarl. Now, honestly, Wish is a weak and less preferred option. Snarl proves to be the better, more potent pool. Now, let's have a look at why. Wish is a recovery move that compared to, like, Pollen Puff or uh, Blissey's Eggs, it's really not that good. So, while the healing is mediocre and the two-second delay is disadvantaging, you can maybe get some use in some specific scenarios. Conversely, Snarl is an area of effect debuff. When you activate it, you're not allowed to use an auto attack for one and a half seconds. That's really important to note. However, you're going to be doing Snarl ticks in the area of effect around you and that debuffs the enemy's attack and special attack which with each tick and this will stack. You also gain quite a big shield and at the end, all of the enemies within the AoE on that last tick of Snarl they are stunned. Now, Skull, uh, Snarl has good value from level 6 for the entire game. 
Whereas when you upgrade this move, that happens at level 12. Wish gets quite a big upgrade, but again at level 12 as a supporter, there are going to be a lot of games where you don't even have that for the Ray fight. Uh, whereas with Snarl, it just stuns a little longer at level 12, so you're really going to get quite a lot of value out of that. Let's have a look at the Unite moves. Umbreon's Unite moves, they're unlocked at level 8. Now, honestly, that's really cool because it's just like the other evolutions. Now, when you have this activated, it grants you like a free leftovers. And it enables you to essentially recover 1% uh, percent of your max HP per second when you're out of combat. Now, honestly, this sounds a lot better than it is, but it's a cool addition. Now, when you use this Unite move, you jump into the air and you steal the enemy shields. Now, again, this sounds better than what it is because if the enemies don't have a lot of shields, you're not actually getting a big shield for activating this Unite move. You only get 10% of your max HP, which compared to the other defenders, it really doesn't do that great of a job. Now, let's consider the uh, ability and the autos. Umbreon's ability has a 40 second cooldown, and when you uh, when you get hit, you're briefly unstoppable and you gain a buff to your defense and special defense. This is honestly a really, really cool passive ability. The autos are cool, for every third attack you get a boosted, and the damage is okay, but the self-sustain is what makes this Pokemon awesome. You heal 12% of your missing HP. This is crazy, and like we've seen with Foul Play and Mean Look, you can get some really, really great sustained combos happening. Let's talk about the builds. There are three primary builds. There's a competitive build, solo queue build, and the less preferred wish build. Each has a unique purpose and excels in different scenarios. The battle item for each of these builds is either going to be X-Speed or Eject. Um, however, this is kind of down to personal preference. At least at this stage, the Pokemon's only been released for a couple of days. The competitive build involves Mean Look and Snarl. Now you want to use this with an EXP share, a Focus Band, and a Buddy Barrier. Now remember your role. You are able to isolate an enemy with Mean Look and your team can dive on them. There's no way that they can escape the Mean Look. You also want to use this with Snarl. The combo is you go in with Snarl because remember when you use Snarl, you don't get to use any of your attacks, your auto attacks. But you can use Mean Look while that Snarl is being used. So the timing is going to be really important. Early positioning with this Pokemon is going to be really, really important. And good communication for your team is vital. This is going to be hard to play in low, low ladder solo queue, so just be mindful of that. And remember, when you're in that black hole of Mean Look, all of your attacks are boosted. So you want to make sure you Snarl prior, so you're getting that Snarl value while you are able to do some boosteds rather than Mean Look and then going in with Snarl. You don't get to use those boosteds as much as you can, which is going to really not be as good for your self-sustain. The second build is the Solo Q Climber. This is honestly, this is the fun build. This is the build that everyone's kind of using, uh, making videos about, and this is the one that you're seeing on the ladder. Now, you run Foul Play and Snarl. The build is a variable for items. Again, you've got the X Speed or the Eject. I personally like the Eject button. Um, you know, but again, it boils down to your personal preference. You'll most likely run an Attack Weight, a Razor Claw, and a Focus Band. However, you could probably run a Weakness Policy, a Muscle Band, a Float Stone, or even a Buddy Barrier. But I think you definitely want to run the Razor Claw and the Attack Weight because you're going to be getting incredible value with the Foul Play with those two items. The combo is similar. You use Snarl and then you dash in with Foul Play. Remember, when you use Foul Play, you can't use any autos for one and a half seconds, but you can use Foul Play. Uh, sorry, when you use Snarl, you can't move. Uh, you can't use any autos, but you can use Foul Play. So you Snarl and you can dash with Foul Play. You just can't use your autos. Now remember, at level 10, the combo here is going to be Snarl, then dash in with Foul Play, and then you hit one of your boosted abilities and then you get the foul play reset, so you foul play again, and then you do another boosted. You're going to be doing a lot of damage, debuffing, and sustaining. This build is just a whole lot of fun. The third build exists. Honestly, it's a not very good. It's the wish build. You play this as a supportive role. 
Uh, mean look and wish is generally the two moves you're going to use, and again you're going to go EXP, Chef, Focus Band, and Buddy Barrier. So you're probably going to use this build if you think that your team needs a little bit more support. You're the supporter who helps traps enemies, so it's sort of like you do some healing and you call out, I'm trapping so and so with me and um, Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this build. It's kind of like a pseudo supporter. Um, however, it exists, it's a build, it could have utility based on the team composition that you're in or the team composition that you're up against. Now, so take it as you wish. So there it all is. That's everything you need to know about Umbreon before you head into rank. That sums up the capabilities of this Pokemon. If you've learned a thing or two, show me some love, drop a like, comment something about the favorite build or the build that you're looking forward to the most. There's some other videos on the screen. Be sure to click on those. Get some broadening understanding of Pokemon Unite. Best of luck with the climb and grind, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and good luck.